to subscribe! Dorothy Petty lived in a secluded home in the middle of a great prairie. One day, Petty felt frightened because the weather seemed strange. A tornado came through and swept Petty's home away into the sky. After a while, Petty stepped out into a place she had never seen before. Where am I? Oh, I want to go back home. This is the land of Oz. If you want to go back home, you must go find the Wizard of Oz. Listening to the farmer, Petty set out to find Oz. On the way to Oz's castle, Petty met some new friends. A scarecrow without a brain, a tin man without a heart, and a cowardly lion. As they were reaching the castle, a steep cliff was in their path. What are we going to do? Does anybody have a good idea? Just then, the scarecrow answered. Let's cut down some trees and make a long bridge. Then the tin man cut down the trees and built a bridge. I'm happy I could help out. But as they were crossing the bridge, monkeys with wings started to attack them. Don't worry, Kurarang. Wow, the lion bravely chased away the flying monkeys. The friends crossed the bridge and finally met the Wizard of Oz. I am the mighty Wizard of Oz. What brings you here? The friends each told their wish. I need a smart brain. Give me a warm heart. I need courage, Crumb. Just then, Petty quickly pulled down the curtain that was concealing the wizard. Reveal yourself! Ah! Oh my! The wizard was actually Eddie the Inventor. I'm sorry. I'm actually not a wizard. The friends were very disappointed. <laughs> hmm. At that moment, Petty spoke. It's all right, guys. The Scarecrow has the wisdom to solve difficult problems. And the Tin Man has a warm heart that cares for his friends, doesn't he? The lion bravely protected us. Everyone already has what they wished for. After listening to Petty, <laughs> the friends all cheered. That's <laughs> right! Krung, krung. But I don't think I will ever be able to go back home. <laughs> Just then, Eddie cried out. I can help you with that. I have a fabulous hot air balloon. So Petty and Eddie rode the hot air balloon and safely flew back home. Goodbye, my friends. I will never forget you. Gather all the red apples.
know. They've gathered all the magical apples. The friends all shared and enjoyed eating the apples together. Prince Eddie has come from Robot Land. Tongtong has come from Dragon Land. Prince Poby has come from Bear Land. Krong has come from Dinosaur Land. Bororo has come from Penguin Land. What fun stories about princes from faraway lands! What was the most interesting object? Move to the tree without waking up the others. the presents under the tree.
Morning, the friends were so happy to receive presents. Seeing how happy his friends were, Eddie couldn't help but smile. Build Doodoo a new house. Decorate the house. Match the puzzle. Dudu has a new home. Dudu felt so grateful to his friends. Eddie can see his friends' minds with his glasses. What is Chrome thinking about? What is Poby thinking about? Thank you. 
<laughs> what is Petty thinking about? What is Bororo thinking about? What is Loopy thinking about? The friends were all surprised that Eddie read their minds. Wow! That's amazing! A magic spell made Krong enormous. Krong grew to be as tall as the sky. <laughs> Krong became as small as an ant because of Tong Tong's magic. Wow, Krong changed back to normal at last. His friends all sighed with relief. A scary shark is chasing after Bororo. Toby danced to lure away the shark. The bad shark ended up being thrown out into space.
The friends all worked together to help Eddie. Eddie felt grateful to his friends. Thank you. Let's go on a skating run. Ah! Hooray! 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 <laughs> wow! Eddie is amazing at skating! Shall we go skating too? Today was the Exciting <laughs> Sports Day. Everyone came together to settle their teams by drawing lots. Huh? I'm in the blue team. Really? I'm in the white team. Taisu was in the white team with Eddie. But the blue team made fun of the white team. Hey, look! You have all the slow kids. Why don't you just give up? The white team was upset with the blue team. We will see about that. We are going to win. The first game was the long jump. Jump! But Taisu couldn't jump that far. The second game was the big ball push. But Taisu missed his push. The third game was tug of war. As Kobe pulled, Taisu lost his grip of the rope. Taisu was disappointing his friends. He was about to cry. But his friends cheered on. It's okay. Who cares if we lose? Yeah, let's just try our best. Felt better after his friends <laughs> cheered him up. But the blue teammates were busy showing off to each other. Ah! Ah, I was the best. Taisu. Soon it was time for the final match, the relay race. Give it your best, Eddie. He can try all he wants! At that point, Kodoro suddenly started to walk slowly. Oh, let's see how well you do without me! Eddie passed on the baton to the next runner before Kodoro did. But Yuki <laughs> got outrun by Krong. did his best to run as fast as he could. He started to catch up with Kobe. In the end, he reached the finish line before Kobe. Well, we turned the score! Woohoo! Great job! The white team got three extra points and tied with the blue team. Hooray! <laughs> Taisu was happy that he could enjoy this day together with his friends. Everyone gathered at Luffy's vegetable garden. What do you think? I grew them all by myself. That's, That's amazing! Pororo admired Luffy's bountiful garden. Pororo, I could share some seeds with you. Really? Thanks! Mm -hmm. 
Totoro made a garden next to his house. He planted the seeds and carefully watered the garden. Grow up nice and tall. <laughs> but no matter how long he waited for the seeds to sprout, it wouldn't grow. I think you watered them too much and killed them. <laughs> Taisu felt bad seeing Pororo so sad, so he decided to help Pororo. The next day, Taisu gardened together with Pororo. They were feeling eager but promised each other to be patient. A few days passed and the sprouts started to grow. Wow! This is so exciting! <laughs> when Pororo became happy, Taisu felt happy too. The two chased away the birds and didn't miss fertilizing the soil. The vegetables grew bigger and bigger each day. But one day, dark clouds were moving in. I think it's going to rain. Let's go inside. But the rain didn't stop. The garden was about to be flooded. Oh! <laughs> My poor garden! <laughs> ran outside holding a shovel. He digged out the soil to make a ditch. I'll help too! Because the water flowed to the ditch, the garden was safe. Soon the rain stopped. Phew! What a relief! The next day, everyone gathered at Fororo's house. They were surprised and shouted. <gasps> wow! So many vegetables <laughs> have sprouted! <laughs> Let's pick the produce! Everyone harvested the plants together. <laughs> Later on, Lumpy <laughs> made them a delicious meal. Mmm, this is good. <laughs> It took a long time to grow the plants, but everything was very delicious. There were lots of drawings on Petty's wall. I drew them all! Taisu told Petty that they looked great. Thanks! This is my gift for you! As a gift, Petty gave Taisu a very beautiful drawing. But while Taisu was on his way home, Bororo crashed into Taisu while he was running. Ouch! The drawing flew away and splashed into the river. The water was too deep and cold to go into. I'm sorry. Bororo apologized, but Taisu was too angry to reply. That night, Taisu felt so upset that he never wanted to play with Bororo again. The next morning, when Taisu went to the playground, his friends came running towards him. Terrible news! Bororo is sick! Surprised, Taisu sprinted <laughs> off to Bororo's house. Loopy was there taking care of Bororo. <laughs> Last night, Bororo must have gone into the cold <laughs> river. He's got a burning fever. As it turned out, Bororo searched for the drawing all through the night in the freezing water. <coughs> Although Bororo didn't find the drawing, Taisu was moved by Bororo's kindness. I'm 
sorry. I tried my best, but I couldn't find it. Taisu shaved his head and told him it was all right. Said he was sorry for not accepting Fototo's apology earlier on. Thank you for forgiving me, Taisu. Hurry up and get better, so we can go out to play! Okay! <laughs> As the two friends made up, yes. oh. the other friends felt happy too.